So, um, how many of you guys have watched these primitive building videos? Have you guys seen these before? Like, I, I've, I've watched a lot of them. I actually like them. Uh, I, I like these videos a lot. I think they're really cool. They can't be staged? Maybe so. Let's find out. Almost every single primitive building channel is underpinned by countless different lies, and we've got tons of evidence to prove it. Well, fuck. Now we need to put an emphasis on the fact that this is most primitive building channels, uh -huh. and certainly not all of them. After sifting through forum post upon forum post about the ways in which these primitive builders lie, in order to generate sometimes up to 500 million views per video... I remember that shit whenever it happened. Like, I, I feel like... Like, what my assumption is with, like, these primitive videos, before we actually watch the video, what my assumption is that it can be made with your hands, but it will just take way longer. So, like, they go dig, 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 and then they cut it, and then everything's dug out. So, it's not that it's not possible, it's just that they don't want to do it because it takes too much time. This continued to mention one name over and over, crediting him as legitimate amongst the sea yeah, of primitive phonies, technology, primitive right? technology. Yeah. The 10.4 million guy. subscriber channel, which is run by an Australian named John Plant, basically invented the primitive construction genre, all the way down to the sound design video. of silence mixed with rainforest noises, with yep. primitive technology even stating in a Reddit AMA that originally it was out of laziness in not putting narration in the videos, but then the silent format became popular, so I kept it that way. When going back to the beginning of these silent, relaxing videos, it becomes pretty obvious as to why they're credited as seeming pretty legit in terms of authenticity. Primitive technology cuts well, no- Well, the reason why it's authentic is because it's so ghetto. Like, what is this filmed on? A Nokia phone? It's, a mo uh, it's, it's recorded on a Motorola Razor. So yeah, of course it's going to be fucking authentic. He doesn't have the money to pay a construction team in showing how each stage of the construction is completed legitimately. For example, when examining his very first video, he shows the axe head being sharpened, a log yep. being cut by the axe, then the logs being crafted together in a way that feels realistic. Yes. All of this is accompanied by specific captions explaining what's going on in that very moment, alongside a full description of the build, all the way down to how long the construction process took. And his it's build... also like, not only that, is that he was never built, he, he wasn't building anything that was fucking like extravagant. It's like these other guys that like build and they both have like sticks and they like dig out things with the sticks. It's like, bro, these guys build an apartment complex. It's like, maybe not, man. But like, can somebody build something like this? Sure. Never include swimming pools or anything over the top, yet feel impressive as they seem to be on the cutting edge of yeah. what is and isn't possible to build by hand. The legitimacy of some of his more impressive builds, such as this brick hut, can be supported by YouTube comments such as this one, which stated, I actually know John personally. He was a really good friend. We live in the same town, although I haven't seen him since he went viral. I have fond memories of him telling us that he was building huts out bush and had no idea they were so legit before going on to credit him as a pretty authentic guy from a personal relationship standpoint. All this is he's a good guy. I mean, like, what? Like, yeah, of course, everybody would expect that. 100%. Chad Zuber's another guy. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen his videos, too. As I said, I've watched a lot of these. And um, I, that's the guy with the long hair now, I'm pretty sure. He actually looks like a caveman, pretty much. And uh, I, I think that, yeah, these videos are, are absolutely legit. But, like, what happened is, like, as soon as primitive technology took off, because, like, let's be honest, whenever these videos came out, everybody fucking watched them. They were massive. Everybody loved these fucking videos. So guess what everybody else did? Well, they copied the videos. That's the same thing that everybody does. The moment that something good comes out and, you know, it works, everybody else steals the idea immediately and tries to one-up the first guy that did it. So you have like, oh, these guys are building a hut? Well, we're going to build a bigger hut. This guy's building a river? We're going to build a lake. That's what happens. Incredibly important to understand, as Primitive Technologies videos set a baseline for what yeah. should and shouldn't be achievable in a natural setting. Additionally, Primitive Technology has been kind enough to provide us with a statement, which will be referred to as we look at the channels oh, wow. on the other end of the spectrum, okay. also known as the fakers. The fundamental problem with the genre is that, with so much time between camera cuts, there's plenty of time to set things up illegitimately. And with Primitive Technology's very first video receiving over 44,000 Reddit upvotes and up 30 dudes. million views, it's no surprise that copycats with less integrity began to pop up left That's and right. That's the thing, bro. Like, actually, I, I, bro, I watched this one. I actually saw this exact fucking video. I didn't know this shit was fake. I thought that was badass. What do you mean this one was fake? I've seen this one, and I saw... I, I didn't see either one of these. No, bro, no way. No way I got faked on. On these channels, the buildings were taller. It's like, look at that shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? Less integrity began to pop up left, right, and center. On these channels... Look at that, man. 
Like, that's like a Fisher Price house that you got whenever you were a kid. It's an amusement park. As the buildings were taller, the slides were longer, and the water was suspiciously yeah. more blue. And it's a weird blue color. Why is it so blue? Probably because it's probably still dying or something. There's no reason for it to look so blue like that. Even more interestingly, almost all of these channels range from the exact same area, being Cambodia, Thailand, or Vietnam, yet often geotag the United States, claim to be living in the United States, and have their social blade country set to the United States. I wonder why. Yeah, I, I wonder fucking why. Yeah, obviously we know why. The overall production and build quality on these channels is arguably far more impressive than the OG primitive technology. To That's why I don't like them as much. I like the original primitive technology videos more, and I like the other ones like the, the Chad Zuber videos more, because it was just one hairy man out in the woods building a fort. You know, like, it reminded me way more of, like, what it was like whenever I was a kid, and I would go out into the woods and make forts. It was so, like, that, that's why I love them. The point where you have to ask yourself, are they really creating these structures out of mud and sticks? Well, when you do a little bit yes of- Yes and no, I think. Research, the answer to this question is most certainly no. Oh, the best evidence for okay, this is found okay, when looking at a okay. 5 million subscriber channel called Primitive Technology Idea, whose failure- what, what bro, Primitive Technology Idea. Shamelessness. I'm sorry. Shamelessness. Wow. Cover up the ways in which they fake their videos, make them almost comical to watch. Hours. Take for example this episode titled Building Underground Water Maze Crocodile to the Secret Underground House and Swimming Pool, in which the first- And there's a real alligator in there? A shot shows two men- Yeah, digging... that's what they do. They dig with the stick. These are the guys. On the surface, then in the next frame, they're in an eight foot deep trench. Yeah. Now, if they're digging this deep with sticks, how are they avoiding large rocks and potential tree roots from, you know, the massive line of trees seen just behind them? Are they being assisted by large machinery? Well, we'll get to that in a little bit, but first, let's- I never thought about the roots. I actually never thought about the roots. Wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Holy shit, I never thought about the roots. Wow. Focus on the idea that it's only two people doing these impressively large primitive construction projects. If that's what they were attempting to portray, it probably would have been best not to include the clip where a guy in a white t-shirt can be seen working on the project in the background. Yet, if it were just these three guys, that still wouldn't be that bad. However, further evidence suggests that they are far more help than this. At the start of the week, a community post was made on this channel in the hope that someone who had worked with one of these primitive builders would be willing to share their experience uh -huh. in doing so. We received countless emails which were all super helpful, yet one email stood out as being incredibly unique. Okay. That email was incredibly from one of the cameramen who works for one of these larger Southeast Asian primitive building channels. His name and the channel he works for have both been blurred out, Makes as sense. it'd be a little unfair for him to get in trouble for simply trying to help out. But the email began by stating, as you may have suspected, it's not as streamlined as the video would suggest. It is I would have never guessed that. Like, I don't think it's a problem to, to show what can be made with, like, natural tools, but it is a problem to show... Like, to, to to mislead people into thinking that's how it was made. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's still misleading. Large operation, as you may suspect, with a large team of us behind it. After we then offered to answer any questions we had about their channel, we attempted to figure out how many different people will work on the actual construction part of the project from start to finish, to which he would respond, no it is depending less. on the scale of the project, but no less than one dozen or more, before going on to explain that within his team, there is a director for the acting done. There is also a hired architect to obviously make sure the stru- Oh my god, an architect? Bro, like, what is this? Like, I just thought they had some of their friends help them out. What? A primitive architect? What are they building? The pyramids? Fuck! I I've got- we've been finessed! We don't know how they made the pyramids. Actually, I thought about it. I saw this. Um, somebody said that, uh, the way that they made the pyramids was that they were made before gravity was invented. So, the rocks didn't weigh as much. So, they were able to put them together more easily. Because they didn't have any idea of gravity back then, so they just put them up there. 
rocks will not collapse and will last long enough to film in, and obviously afterwards many editors are involved. In case an email from someone who works from one of these primitive builders isn't enough evidence, it's time to introduce a different channel called Photo Expression, who incredibly stumbled upon one of these primitive construction sites before capturing over eight minutes of footage with a drone. We'll refer to different parts of this footage throughout our video, but for now it can answer the question of how many people are really working on these sites. There's initially a clip where eight different workers can be seen standing around a rectangular hole in the jungle what? followed what? There's initially a clip where <laughs> What? <laughs> Uh, bro, I thought this was just gonna be some emails. Like, I thought this was gonna be some. Oh my god, it's like it's irrefutable. It's right there in front of you. Holy fuck! Eight different workers can be seen standing around a rectangular hole They're in right the jungle, there. followed by another grainy clip from a far distance, where somewhere between seven and ten people can be seen building a swimming pool. If they were honest about how many people were working on each project, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it should I be actually think yeah, I agree with this. Like I agree. If if they had gone out and they had said, "Listen, obviously we can't make all of this ourselves. It would take too long. It's not financially viable." And so, of course, uh, you know, like all of the work that is done, like. If they went out and they said, all the work is pretty much done with primitive tools, it can be done, but, you know, of course we have, we bring some other people in just to make sure that things are done in a timely manner to avoid, like, rain or any sort of, like, other damage that could happen. Like, everybody would be like, yeah, that makes sense, right? It, it, it makes sense. But, like, it's the fact that they don't do that. You see what I'm saying? Then they wouldn't get the views? I think they would. Like, I, I, I think that they would. I think it would still be cool. Noted that some of these videos specifically yeah, state... They're, they're, you know, like primitive um, uh, fucking uh, bulldozers. Uh, primitive uh, cranes. Uh, primitive uh, hydraulic, hi hydraulic lifts. You know, from like back in the day, you know? in the description that I've been working Friend hard with excavators. my two friends about a hundred days to completely build when in reality it's a whole team working for only three to ten days depending yeah. on the project as mentioned in the email response from the cameraman. So if they're being untruthful about the time period as well as how many people are working on each project what else are they lying about? Well how about the incredible fire pits that they seem to create effortlessly? Going back to the statement made to us by Primitive Technology he seemed to imply that maybe the fire making in their videos was fake. It's hardly surprising that he brought this up as when you can compare his meticulous method of creating fire in the wild to the fire making of these Southeast Asian primitive channels, as mentioned previously, it becomes comical. I think that like, so I always assume that like the digging, my understanding of this, and, and like I, I might not really know what I'm talking about here, is like my dad was in Vietnam, right? And like the soil in Vietnam is way different than the soil here in Austin, Texas. Like I'm telling you, you're going to go like, you go this deep in the dirt, and you're going to hit a rock. And then after you get under that rock, there's another rock. Guess what's under that? That's right. A fucking rock. It's all rocks. So I would have easily guessed, like, the, the, the being able to dig down and there not being rocks, I always attributed this to just a different culture and a different climate. You know, because it's just, it's a different environment. It's under that rock. It's rocks all the way down. Until you get to Hillary Clinton's base in the middle of the, o of the not ocean. Stadium. They slap a couple of rocks together before beginning an explosive fire on large logs with no kindling whatsoever. John went don't on to they have those rocks that you can buy and you just hit them together? Like, don't you just like buy that shit at like Cabela's or some shit? That if they're faked simpler things, then they're most certainly faking more complicated ones, which turns out to be true, as when looking at another video by Primitive Technology Idea, it becomes obvious that not only are these guys faking simple things such as fire, these guys are also faking the most labor-intensive exercise of all, the digging process itself. Of this course video they are. And, and like, the thing is, with over six like, I would never, if they said, like, listen, bro, we're not going to dig this whole shit out, like, this would take too long. And I think it, it, it's rational. To, to say like, okay, well, yeah, of course they're not going to dig the whole thing out because if they did that, then it would, uh, uh, it, it would take forever it, and it could be damaged by rain and it could just be fucked up. Like they could easily just say that and I would have no complaints. I would be like, okay, that's cool to see how it's done. It's not primitive if they don't. Well, you can have a bunch of people doing something. I mean, like it's like the pyramids, right? Again, like you can have other people doing it. It's the disingenuousness of it. But like, here's the thing.
It's primitive technology idea. Let's call it what it is. This guy's just using the same name, primitive technology, to latch on to the SEO and get credited for uh, what, what that guy did by using the same fucking channel name. That's clearly what it is. So it's like that in itself is like it's sus. Sure, it's sus. But like that, whenever you include it to something else, th then it's bad. 63 million views begins as most do. A shirtless guy draws a big circle and begins yeah. to dig it out. Only in the next frame, suddenly there's spray paint on the ground that they forgot to rub out. Additionally, on the wall of the hole, these long smooth cuts can be seen which are completely incomparable to the cuts being made by the stick. That's well, crazy. there's a reason for this. Turns out spray paint marks weren't the only thing that they forgot to rub out, as in the minutes that follow, excavated tracks can be seen here, 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 and here. In a different whoa, video whoa, by the whoa, same whoa, follow, up. excavated tracks can be seen here, uh here here and that one is fucking that one is condemning that one is like yep it's right there that's an excavate this is like but bro how do you know because haven't you watched ancient aliens they had this stuff back then. The Mayans had this stuff. So it really is actually more primitive than using the sticks. Whenever you think about it, right? Because like this is what the ancient aliens came down in their spaceships to help the Mayans. And they probably showed them how to how to make excavators too. Here. In a different that one is like, it's hard to tell with this one video okay. by the same channel the same person can be seen working very hard digging out a similar hole which to their credit contains no excavator tracks around it Amazing. one mistake they did make however was that they forgot to take the actual excavator out of the top right hand corner oops that's a that's a bit of an oops well 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 i mean I actually thought this video was going to be like, you know, it was going to be like inconclusive. It's like, ah, oh, there's no way it's possible. I didn't expect that we would just have literal 4K photo evidence. I mean, fuck. According to the email sent to us by the cameraman on one of these channels, approximately 70% of the digging is completed by machinery, whilst 30% is completed by hand, given how much of the work lies in simply digging. Yeah. But men still do plenty of digging. As you may guess, in small underground spaces, it is impossible to fit a skid steer loader in the hole. Most of the it's actual true. construction is done by a high team of specialized builders, from my understanding, and they work with only intrinsic tools. The dirt is removed by skid steer loaders and offloaded elsewhere, and skid steer loaders are used in the initial boring process, whilst incrementally we film the builders doing super superficial works on the whole. The video in which the excavator can be seen in plain sight then goes on to strangely display the collection of concrete from a river, which is the exact same clip reused from the previous video. Now <laughs> I... I don't know what to say. I, I, I really... I... I, I I, I don't know what to say. Like, this is just, it, it, it's just indisputable. Holy fuck. Now, why would they reuse the same clip twice in two different videos? Because well, it's because collecting concrete from a river is completely and utterly bogus. Concrete what? doesn't grow in a river, according to a civil engineer who had commented on one of these videos. Earth cement, this is incredibly fake. Cement requires a precise combination of different raw materials and then receives considerable heat treatment in order to make the powder we all know and love slash hate. What's even funny- I yeah, I thought concrete was like a chemical reaction. Is I wrong about that? It is. Yeah, I, I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you don't go, you don't just go and, and, and just, oh, it's in the dirt. There, there's, there's some concrete right there. It grows on concrete trees. Really? I'm sure they'll show us one of these in the video is that every single one of these channels has their own unique method for creating natural concrete. This uh -huh. channel's concrete is simply a mix of dirt and water, which if you think about it for two seconds, does I don't think that's concrete because like I put dirt and water together and it didn't turn into to concrete. That, yeah, that's mud. Doesn't create concrete and rather creates muddy water or mud, which is just dirt after the water dries. Right. This other channel gets a little bit more creative with it by taking a chunk out of a termite nest, grinding it down into powder, mixing it with water, then concreting an entire pool. With wow, they made a snake? This small chunk of termite nest. Like, so actually people think that they made... Th Bro, look at this. Like, this is straight off of like a Japanese palace. Holy fuck.
They made re the I feel like this dragon's about as real as the videos. Yet neither of Fuck. these compared to the fakest channel of them all, Primitive Technology Life, which decides to just skip the concrete altogether and go with good old rocks and dirt. However, that's not the only suspicious thing about this shot. You'll notice when looking at the bamboo that each branch has a suspiciously clean cut on the end. Compare this to Primitive Technology, the legitimate channel from Australia, who in one video displays what the end of a log should actually look like, and you'll notice pretty quickly that these pieces of bamboo weren't naturally cut on sight. These pe- Uh, that is- so as somebody- like, I have bamboo- bamboo growing in my yard all the time if you want to get that type of a cut you have to cut it with like a machete like i feel like it's hard to even get that kind of a cut with a machine because the machine will damage the uh, uh the, the little strands that the there's i actually think that it has to be cut like maybe if you have like a really really high speed saw yeah the fibers the fi I, I don't know what it is yeah the fibers Depends on the machine. Yeah, I, I bet like a really, really high speed machine would work. Pieces of bamboo weren't either, which as displayed in the video, were attached together then used to siphon water from a river to the pool. Only there was no river. Photo what? Expression found the exact site of this pool, then stated in his video that in reality, the closest water source was more than six kilometers away. Instead- I feel like part of this video, it's like, imagine you're like seven years old and you go on YouTube and you get a video recommended to you and it's like evidence of why Santa is not real. Like, it, really, I, I feel like I, th that's the way that I feel about it. this is fucking bullshit. Ed, he found a bunch of blue plastic piping attached to a tap in the ground. Going back to the email from the cameraman, Holy the water fuck. for their channel just comes in cubic containers that is transported there. A very funny part is any scene where you see them sourcing water from some magnificent waterfall or lake, they're actually going somewhere perhaps hundreds of kilometers away and pretending to take it back. Wow, so he doesn't even come down the chimney at all? So no, it's not even dad that comes down the chimney. Nobody goes, okay, nobody goes down a chimney. All right, there, and there's no reindeer, right? No, I mean, it's not just the red ones. There's, there's actually no reindeer what's, like, this is fucked up, man. The video in which Photo Expression had stumbled upon various completed primitive builds also showed that after these channels are finished building, the sites are simply left to rot. This video doesn't Makes speak sense. for every Southeast Asian primitive building channel, but in this particular case, rubbish was left everywhere, including, as you might guess, cement bags. The Channel, but in this particular case, rubbish was left everywhere, including, as you might get. Bro, this is, this is fucked up, man. Like, this is absolutely fucked up. Like, I mean, you think about like what really all this has been. You know, co-opting the guy's SEO, pretending to have having a building crew, using excavators, pretending like you're bringing water from like a nearby lake, and it's actually some fuck a river. I mean, and it's some fuck. Like, holy shit. And they're littering. Yeah, cement bags. The fact that the videos are fake isn't the most concerning. It's the destruction of the land that's concerning. Now, if this was I wouldn't even give a shit about that. Like, I mean, people can build and do what they want with the land. It's up to that. But, like, don't fucking litter. Quit fucking littering and throwing shit around. Well, yeah, I think people can dig up the dirt. Like, that dirt... But, yeah, don't think it's a big deal. You should be able to dig up the dirt. If it's your land, you should be able to dig up the dirt. Like, what's the problem with that? I don't know, is that crazy? Yeah, they mean the littering. Yeah, the littering is the problem, not the actual building itself. Such a weird distinction. What? Rainforest, you could probably consider land? this oh, a pretty God. big deal, but according to the cameraman's email, at least on their channel, every build is done on privately owned land, which is leased for the purposes of the video. If this is- Never mind. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah. I- Man. If this is the case, maybe photo expression is in the wrong for snooping around and filming on someone else's property. We're kidding, of course, but if the builds are being completed on privately owned land, it's a little narcissistic to comment on what they should and shouldn't do with it. Primitive technology, the original legitimate- I, I, would I, I will agree with that in terms of what they build and don't build on their land. 
but I still find it to be irresponsible to have a bunch of litter around on there. The reason why is that it is an ecosystem. There is something that is, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Um, it's actually the bane of all balding men's existence. It's called wind. And wind blows things around. Also, the plastic decomposes and it goes into the dirt. And then it will eventually go into the water stream. It's not good. Channel put it best in his email to us when he said, My advice to people who really want to know if the techniques on display are legitimate is to put them into practice and see. If you can follow the steps and get a similar result, then it's probably legit. He added that these corner cutting channels are motivated by money and status alone rather than a true interest in primitive technology. Yeah. But wanting to stay out of internet drama will leave it up to the discerning viewer to decide what's real and what's not. The problem is that there's basically nothing about this that is real. It's not like one of the situations where it's like, ah, you know, they did that one thing, but for the most part, it's not that bad. Holy fuck, man. Great video. Yeah, this is, it, it's nuts. Like, the whole fucking, like, I mean, this was the, where the fuck was it? Where's the fucking video of the drone? Like, I, I, I'm going to go back to the fucking video of the drone. That's what really made me mauled so goddamn much. Oh, here we go. People are really working on these sites. Look at this. Initially this is right, there. They're right there. They're fucking right there. It's just a fucking team of people that are sitting there. Jesus, some of the restoration videos are so fake. I don't know. The archi- Yeah, they've got an architect. These photos could be anyone. You have no proof. Yeah, yeah, you never know, man. They could have, bro, maybe this was another primitive technology channel trying to frame this primitive technology channel for making fake videos. Oh, dude. You know what this reminds me a lot of? It reminds me of, like, remember the fucking 2015 era of YouTuber pranks where it's like, oh, man, going up to girls and asking for their number, and it's some fucking douchebag with his hat on sideways wearing fucking shutter shades because it was back in 2000 you know 13 14 15 and he's like hey girl can i get your number and he like pulls his shirt up right and he's been working out and she's like yeah and then they find out it was fucking fake I just, I, I, and, and it killed the entire genre that's the problem it is like the prank videos some of them were fucking funny some of them were fucking funny and, and like now we have this video and, and like also i i've seen some of these other ones where the fuck did he did he link it here i, I don't i don't know where it is I'm, I'm getting so upset about this because like i've i've watched these so i've watched so many of these i've watched an incredible amount of these videos like this one here where is it doesn't read it upvotes right and i watched fuck I watched that one. I thought that one was so fucking cool, man. Because it reminded me of the fucking Shire. Yeah, I thought that was badass. I love this video. And and, and now I... Uh, you built something back here? I, dude, so what, 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 what we did... What we did is we built like a, a... We dug a really big hole whenever we were kids. And that was about it. Yeah, that, that was about it. That's, it looks legit, though. Maybe it is. But it looks really fucking cool. It's not fake. It better not be fucking fake. Yeah, like, I always thought that this was, like, I mean, like, this stuff was a little bit sus, you know? But, like, I always chalked it up to, like, listen, two fucking guys that are living in Indonesia or some shit, they come up with this, what else are they gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, maybe they just really like doing this stuff. And it's like, I mean, I don't fucking know. I had no idea. Like, I thought, yeah, maybe they're fake, maybe they're not. It didn't really affect me. But, like, fuck, man. Either way, it's still cool as fucking entertaining. It is, but it's also misleading. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, they're telling you it's going to be one thing, and it's actually another thing. It's real, my dude. Yeah, and, and they go through the entire process. I've watched a lot of this stuff, too, okay, guys? I get really into it. Uh, it reminds me of the old days. Whenever I'd go out in the woods in winter and, you know, build a fort with my friends, and, you know, we never had... Dude, if these videos were around whenever I was a kid... Like, I would be doing this shit. I would be going out there and just buying that shit like crazy. It's just like pro wrestling. Yeah, but the difference is, like, I never gave a fuck about pro wrestling. So it didn't bother me whenever I found out that it was fake. 
Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's just visual ASMR. I, I don't know, man. I'm just, yeah, this is like, what, what these videos are, I mean, like, let's be honest, right? These videos are, they're like, <laughs> these building videos are like makeup tutorials for men. That's what they are. It, 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 this is what guys, like, they're like, man, this is so badass. Like, yeah, I want to go back over here. No, that's the way I feel like with it. Exactly. Uh, so on point, yeah, like, all the time. And you see, like, the comments. And you watch one of these videos where it's like, you know, four fucking be gray-bearded men go and they build a Viking, uh, a, a Viking house out in the woods. And there's just a bunch of other fucking men with, like, gray beards and fucking sunglasses with a beanie on saying, good one, brother. I like that. Yeah, we've got one of those over in my place too. Every fucking time. Yeah, they try winter bushcraft videos. I've seen a lot of these. Yeah, just just guys being dudes. Can we get an OTK primitive technology stream? I will have you know, I actually suggested that idea. I love the idea of putting each individual OTK member out in the uh, in the wild and having them survive, give them like two or three tools and have them survive uh, overnight and see what they do to survive. I, I thought this was a great fucking idea. Uh, you know, I have to make sure there's no snakes and shit like that. But overall, I would fucking love this. I think it'd be a badass idea. And then I thought of the, the reality, which would be S-Fan might not be able to figure out what to do. So he would just sleep on the dirt. Like there, there would be like no, uh, no tent or anything like that. I could totally imagine him doing that because why do I imagine that? Because S fan, the first house he bought in Austin, he had a blow up mattress that he didn't even have in his bedroom. He just put it out in the living room and he would pass out on the blow up mattress. Yeah, that's content. Yeah. Someone will die. Well, I mean, that would be a good clip, right? Shit.